Good day, friends. How are you all? Hope you're all well. Um, I want to show and talk to you right now about the 1979 Porsche 928 that is above my left shoulder right there. It's on the lift right there. You can see it. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, the fenders and I'll be right back with a reoriented version of the camera. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm prepping this fender um, along with the other fenders to be plastic media blasted here in the next couple of days. I've got a bunch of other things I have to do. A couple uh, S... I was going to say S4, but one S4 manifold and one GTS manifold for a 928. Some doors, some more MG stuff. Lots of little stuff to do. So I want to prep these fenders out. But the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to show um, you folks out there in the 928 community that aluminum does indeed corrode. And you're looking at some corrosion right there. There was the Schutz spray undercoating on, the, uh, on this area here, but it was starting to flake off. So I got under it and scraped it very, and it very easily came off. Um, also on the fender, there was some heat introduced into it, causing some of this to, it appeared to be bubbling up, but it could be just, well, well I don't know. That does look like bubbles from heat from the outside. This stuff is really good. I mean, the, uh, <laughs> this is stock undercoating, underbody spray, um, protecting stuff that is very good and this was also on the alpha years ago when i got that in first and before i re rebuilt the whole thing and um <coughs> this same material was on the bottom of that car and on the inside of the floor so europeans they they did a very good job on these cars back in the 70s with this kind of material so i want you to see the corrosion that is going on and this will be this corrosion will be cut down in its tracks when uh, when I blast but part of what I'm doing is just cleaning up some of this superfluous junk sealants and body caulking and, and things like that I think that's the proper name for it some of this pliable gasket stuff it's always better to just get this stuff off prior to prior to me going in there blasting it because I'll just waste time doing that and fill the dust collector with this kind of material um, now I'm not going to take all of this off and I'm going to show you why and how this right here is one of my fenders I want you to see this fender I've blasted and put it in epoxy primer. Okay, so <clears throat> it's done. It's really nice. It's ready to go. There's, a, there's one little dent here somewhere on the side. Um, but I want you to see just what it looks like with a partial removal of that undercoating underbody spray stuff that that is on these cars you can see right here that some of it is gone some of that came off when i blasted this and i i was not very aggressive in terms of trying to remove it because why remove it this stuff is really really good why take it off so what remained on here i just epoxy primed over it. Now what I probably will do is get some uh, similar undercoating spray textured stuff like this and spray on the on the uh, areas that just have the epoxy on it and get uniform coverage on the inside of the fender which is the same thing I'll do on Allison's 928 fenders. But again, this is just a video to show the status on these things that they do rust or 
excuse me, they do corrode. And again, I salute her dad for sanding, <laughs> doing a lot of work, <coughs> a whole lot of work to sand down the Porsche paint off of these fenders and the whole car. Of course, he didn't get in here. No one would and no one could. However, I'll be able to blast that very quickly and get that all nice and clean. Have a nice, good channel on that fender, just like on this one. So there's a lot of goop and gunk sealants down around where it meets the firewall. However, um, the loose stuff I will scrape off, but this stuff here, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to take it off. Some of the grease and stuff in here, that'll come off. But um, <clears throat> overall, that's the report. That's the status. I am doing quite a bit of Porsche stuff, cleaning, restoring old items, products from these cars. Also, another thing I'm going to do is the doors off of her car. And I've got doors off of my original body car right there. Okay, those have been blasted, those are in epoxy, and on the bottom of the doors, I, I'm not gonna climb up there again and show you, but <clears throat> on the bottom of the doors, especially in a car that lived its life in a, in a winter environment, where the inner door skin, or I should say the inner door frame right here, meets the outer door skin along the bottom, that corrodes badly and it's hidden with a piece of weather strip but in there is really bad on all these cars um my red one my red 89 s4 has got the same problem but i haven't blasted that at all that fender up there did have or that door up there did have the problem um i'm not sure if her doors will i'm not sure where the car lived its life but uh, <clears throat> there we go. So you want to know something kind of cool? This gray sweatshirt I've had, I bought it brand new in Wilmington, Delaware at some mall in 1984. I've had this thing since 84. It's the perfect shop cold weather sweatshirt it's filthy i've welded in it quite a bit you can see some holes in it my wrists they've become frayed and i just ripped off the cuffs so this thing is super comfortable super worn out super raggy but i've had it for <laughs> A long time since 1984 that is hard to believe <laughs> just wanted to share that with you something stupid something irrelevant but it is what it is see you bye be good see ya